Anna Kalinskaya versus Jasmine Paulini is the final of the Dubai Championships for 2024. And both players were not expected to make it this far. Paulini entered the tournament unseeded and will take on the number 11 seed Hadaj Meyer in the first round. And after losing the first set, would fight back to win 4 6 6 4 6 love. In the second round, she'd take on Fernandez, who'd been informed the last couple of weeks. This is no problem for Paulini getting through in straights 6 3 6 4. In the third round, she'd take on the number 8 seed Zachary, who hadn't been in great form throughout 2024. And this showed with Paulini getting through in straights, 6-4, 6-2. In the quarterfinals, she was supposed to play the number four seed, Rabakina, who had played a lot of tennis over the last couple of weeks. But unfortunately, Rabakina got gastro, unable to play, handing the walkover to Paolini. In the semifinals, Paolini would take on Castella, another unseeded player who had just taken out Von Drusseva in the previous match. And after a close second set, Paolini would get through in straights, 6-2, 7-6, to make her first 1,000 final. Helen Skyer entered the tournament as a qualifier and would take on Hunter in the first round. This was no problem getting through in straights. 6-1-6-2. In the second round, she'd take on the lucky loser, Buxa, who had come in for the injured on Shabur. And again, too easy for Kalinskaya, getting through in straights, 6-3-6-4. In the third round, she'd take on the number nine seed, Ostapenko, who had been having a really good season so far. And after a close second set, Kalinskaya again winning in straights, 6-4-7-5. In the quarterfinals, she'd take on Coco Goff, the number three seed who had just taken out the informed Pliskova in the previous round. And after going down a set, Kalinskaya would fight back to win, 2-6-6-4-6-2, to advance to the semi-finals. In the semi-finals, Kalin's guy would take on the number one seed, Iga Sviantek, who had just won Doha the week before. This is no problem with Kalin Skaya overpowering Sviantek 6-4-6-4 to make her first 1,000 final. These two have played twice before with the head-to-head split down the middle 1-1. Kalin Skaya beating Paolini in their last match. That was at the Australian Open in the fourth round a couple of weeks ago. So it'll be really interesting to see how Paolini can overcome that loss and try and win the biggest trophy of her career. If Paolini's going to win this one, she needs to stay focused and stay calm. She was a little bit aggressive and maybe a little bit nervous in the second set against Castella, and it almost cost her that set. She did save five set points to avoid a third, so she needs to try and be calm. She might be the favorite in this one too, which might be a little bit nerve-wracking. If she's not the favorite, and Kalen Skyer is, that'll go to her favor. She can just be aggressive. Kalen Skyer's gonna win this one. She just needs to be aggressive, like she's been all week against Goff, against Fiontech. Also, she beat Ostapenko, of course, along the way, so she needs to be aggressive against Paolini and try and take the baseline away from her and also just keep the variation in her game as well. She did come to the net a few times against Eager, which was interesting. What a random final. It's probably the most random final since the US Open in 2021 with a qualifier and an unseated player, but I've got to go with Kellen Skyer. She's been so good this week beating massive names, and also having a great season. Of course, she made the quarterfinals of the Australian Open, so I'm going to go with her in three sets, but let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win the final.